Welcome guys, this is Kagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the very first video tutorial on PIX 16F microcontroller series. So in this video tutorial I will talk about the related softwares required for PIX 16F series and uh, how to select a microcontroller for your applications. So first of all if you are going for 8-bit microcontrollers you have uh, several choices between uh, microchip, Atmel and uh, ST microelectronics so when you see uh, the specifications and features of all these 8-bit microcontrollers you can observe that uh, most of the features are very common uh, and uh, these features uh, are related to internal ADC, internal timer and counters, UART or USART then uh, SPI or I2C even uh, USB interfaces are there so how can you select a microcontroller for your application so first you have to consider some of the parameters like the available code and data memory for that particular microcontroller chip and a spin count means how many inputs and outputs available on chip peripherals on chip peripherals are like timer counters UART, SPI, USB, I2C etc and the maximum clock frequency at which you can operate your microcontroller and many other parameters will decide the selection of microcontroller but if you are going for any type of 8-bit microcontroller most of the features will be same in this video tutorial I will first talk about some of the important points before studying any hardware or before studying any coding part so first of all when whenever you are going to deal with any type of microcontroller you must have some of the related hardware related documentation and uh, other softwares so first of all you need reference or help files so as my video tutorial series is based on pic 16f 88x so we need one reference file for this pic series so what is a reference file actually it is a data sheet in the pdf format okay so you you can download this pdf file by searching on the google with the particular microcontroller name so in this video tutorial i will cover pic 16f886 microcontroller so if you search for pic 16f886 data sheet you will probably uh, find this pdf so if you click on it you can download the pdf file for this microcontroller now which coding language you will prefer so instead of using assembly language my video tutorials will be in embedded c language so you must know about some basics of embedded c before studying the coding part uh, although i will provide some of the basic help through my video tutorials next is the compiler selection so what is a compiler a compiler is just a software where you will write your code where you will edit your code and where you will compile your code to generate a suitable hex file so for pic 16f series you can use two compilers one is from microchip which is available free of cost the name is MPLAP or you can use micro C pro for pick from micro electronica which is a paid version in this video tutorial series I will go with micro C pro for pick because it is easy to understand and a lot of libraries are available as this micro C pro for pick is a paid version you can still download the demo version from microelectronica's website so next is the simulation software so the simulation software which i will use for this video tutorial series is proteus isis which is a very popular simulation software so you can download the proteus isis 7.10 by searching on the google and you can select any file so when you search about Proteus ISIS 7.10 you can see a lot of options you may go for this 
download with serial key or crack so that you can get the full version of software although the simulations are not real time still you can verify the functioning of your code with the simulator now next is the programming hardware suppose you create one code for your pic 16f series and you want to download that code into microcontroller's flash memory then how you will do that so for that purpose we need a programming hardware which is generally known as picket 2 so you can purchase the kit picket 2 from eBay this one or this one so this hardware is required to program our microcontroller next is the development board so the development board is just a circuit or a printed circuit board for a PIC microcontroller you can see this is the simplest form of a development board with a 40 pin microcontroller socket so there is no special hardware interfacing directly on the PCB you can go for other type of available development boards like this one this development board provide two sockets for 40 pin microcontroller and 28 pin microcontroller this type of development board is provided by microchip but for my video tutorials I designed this development board for my applications and I will use this board for hardware interfacing so the selection of a development board or the hardware is totally depend upon the user how much you will spend for a development board or even you can design your own development board as I design for myself so I will discuss about this in next tutorial now the next is interfacing hardware so which type of hardware you can interface with the PIC microcontroller if we talk about some common interfaces we have LEDs, LCDs, 7 segments, temperature sensors, potentiometers, servos, graphical LCDs, buzzers and relays and interfaces can also be some advanced interfaces like SD card, TFTs, color sensors, fingerprint scanners, Wi-Fi or Ethernet so I will cover common and advanced interfaces in next few tutorials so for a quick recap what we need at startup first one is the reference file which is a datasheet of a particular microcontroller which you can download by searching on google and you have to download a pdf file next one is the coding language we will use embedded c for writing our programs next one is compiler selection so for this video tutorial series i will go with micro c pro for pic from micro electronica it's a paid version you can use the demo version software for all of the codes in this video tutorial series for simulation i will use proteus 7.10 service pack 2 you can download it with serial key or crack next is the programming hardware which is a programmer device which will download our generated hex file into microcontroller's flash memory for this i will use picket to clone which you can purchase online next is the development board which you can purchase online or you can prepare one development board by your own which i will discuss in later tutorial the last one is interfacing hardware which will be led lcd graphical lcd buzzers relays and many other devices so guys stay connected and i will provide more videos on pic microcontroller series and i will also provide video tutorial series on avr arduino and cortex m3 microcontrollers so stay in touch don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you